amongst the multitude of Xenos races encountered by the Imperium. The extragalactic beings known as the Tyranids are some of the deadliest and most terrifying creatures that humanity has ever faced. Unlike the Eldari, Orcs or Tau, the threat of the Tyranids is one that is incomprehensibly alien and bestial, the mindset being nigh unfathomable. They fight not to conquer, nor to subjugate lesser races or expand their territory, but simply to consume all life within their path, stripping entire worlds down to the very bedrock. Nothing escapes the hunger of the High Fleets, as atmosphere, moisture and any form of life no matter how microscopic is devoured. Dozens of distinctive High Fleets have made their way into the Milky Way galaxy, each made of billions of individual organisms. Each High Fleet is identified from one another due to each tendril's unique coloration to their bioform's flesh and chitin, as well as the fact they all seemingly operate independently from one another. Some of these High Fleets have evolved traits that are unique to them alone, and not yet seen within other tendrils of the swarm. The organisms of High Fleet Gorgon, for example, have all evolved toxin glands that produce semi-sentient spores that can swiftly adapt to and poison the genetic makeup of any prey species, while the bioforms of High Fleet Tiamat have all evolved an incredibly tough Diamond Heart exoskeleton, making them incredibly resilient, allowing them to charge at prey with reckless abandon. Each of these adaptations appears to have been spawned through necessity, in order to counteract specific foes. And yet one High Fleet, rather uniquely, is seemingly focused on the consumption of other Tyranid organisms. This particular High Fleet is known as High Fleet Hydra. Hydra is a relatively small High Fleet that has only recently appeared within the galaxy, following within the wake of the much larger and more notorious High Fleet Leviathan, consuming dead and dying Tyranid organisms within its path. In addition, Hydra has also been documented as completely bypassing more obvious targets for consumption, and has instead begun to hunt and consume various Tyranid splinter fleets for an unknown reason. So for what reason could High Fleet Hydra have for developing this cannibalistic trait? The 8th edition Tyranid Codex does mention that Hydra consumes the corpses of other Tyranid organisms in order to absorb their genetic memory. This would seem to suggest that Hydra is a High Fleet that might have been designed to act as a type of living archive, in order to learn about the capabilities of those that managed to cause immense damage to a High Fleet Tendril. In turn, this can also lead towards the greater whole of the Tyranid race to create new evolutionary strains, better adapted to combat against a particularly stubborn or resilient foe. While this makes sense from an initial standpoint, it still doesn't explain as to why Hydra has been attacking other Tyranid splinter fleets. However, it's possible that Hydra is actively targeting these fleets in order to essentially cull the herd for one reason or another. In this regard, it's possible that Hydra is consuming other Tyranid organisms in order to purge swarms that have become either too sickly or weakened due to a lack of resources for the High Fleets to continue utilising. Admittedly, this hinges on whether or not the Hive Mind is in control of every single High Fleet, or if each High Fleet has its own independent consciousness. As the 8th edition Tyranid Codex does indeed state that all High Fleets are under the control of a singular consciousness, then High Fleet Hydra could be targeting the remnants of certain Splinter Fleets that might be considered too weak to continue serving the Hive Mind. This would include targeting High Fleets whose Norn Queens had been slain, and thus potentially reverting the surviving remnants of that particular fleet 
to a more bestial and feral state. As such, Hydra could consume these rogue tendrils to reacquire the biological material and racial memory within their genetic sequence, reconstituting the biomass into creating new bioforms in the process. But if High Fleet Hydra has somehow evolved to become, in fact, an entity operating with complete autonomy from the other tendrils, then the idea of Hydra being a biological memory archive, or existing purely to strip the weaker elements of the Tyranid race, seems far less likely. So if Hydra, hypothetically speaking, was indeed a wholly independent entity, then consuming slain Tyranids to require their genetic material and racial memory could be behavioural traits of a fleet that is decidedly more cautious with its behaviour, looking to gain knowledge of what particular threats could be nearby, and thus developing the appropriate countermeasures to it. Another more plausible explanation for Hydra consuming other Tyranid organisms is simply for the High Fleet to utilise the wider range of pre-processed genetic material already stored within the bioforms of other High Fleets, in order to rapidly spawn additional organisms of their own. As stated earlier, many High Fleets have evolved characteristics that set them apart from one another. Many of these transmogrifications appear to be as a result of a specific prey encountered by the High Fleets. High Fleet Kronos, for example, has evolved to almost exclusively combat against prey that has been corrupted by the powers of chaos, utilising a more potent version of the psychic white noise known as the shadow within the warp, and favouring long-range combat techniques. Hydra's own unique trait is the ability to rapidly spawn additional bioform strains, eventually overwhelming their prey with sheer numbers. As such, it's possible that Hydra has evolved to reinforce its own organisms with additional influxes of Tyranid biomass, which could in turn be the reason as to why it is able to produce far more organisms at a much faster rate than a high fleet of its size should realistically be able to, in a manner evocative of the mythological beast that the high fleet is named after. This possibility is also mentioned within the 8th edition Tyranid Codex, though it is stated to be purely speculation amongst Imperial scholars. Another possibility is that, given the wide variety of adaptations shown by each individual High Fleet, then if Hydra consumes the biomass of each fleet, it can in turn evolve these same adaptations for its own bioform strains. The Tyranids have been known to create brand new organisms that are spun from the genetic sequences of consumed species. For instance, biovores utilise the spore-based reproductive system of the orcs to become living artillery platforms, and zoanthropes are produced from the psychically sensitive Eldari, which allows the creature to unleash devastating blasts of warp energy upon the battlefield. Because of these particular facts, if Hydra was actively hunting and consuming other Tyranid bioforms to simply gain their unique evolutionary adaptations, then Hydra could potentially become the single most dangerous High Fleet. High Fleet Hydra could end up combining its own unique trait of rapid reproduction with the toxicity and adaptability of Gorgon, the toughness and durability of Tiamat, the increased potency of the Shadow in the Warp demonstrated by Kronos, and many more besides. But there could be an altogether different reason for Hydra's preference to attack other Tyranid splinter fleets. Perhaps due to an unforeseen mutation or even an unexpected evolution, Hydra has effectively become a rogue fleet. Given how it actively bypasses potential feeding grounds, in order to launch assaults against other Tyranid organisms from differing High Fleets, then it's possible that Hydra could simply be acting in an extremely territorial manner. If this were the case, 
then Hydra's attacks on other Tyranid fleets could be seen as Hydra attempting to drive off or destroy what it perceives to be rivals that attempt to enter or feed within any series of planetary systems that Hydra has claimed for itself as its territory. If this truly were the reason as to why Hydra attacks other high fleets, then this could even potentially lead to a situation within the future where a larger Tyranid fleet moves to consume a world that is strategically important to the Imperium, only for Hydra to unexpectedly arrive. Hydra could then attack the other high fleet due to not tolerating rivals within Hydra's own hunting grounds, resulting in catastrophic losses upon all sides. This might even result in Hydra being an unexpected but not a necessarily unwelcome wildcard within the Tyrannic Wars. Why do you think High Fleet Hydra is attacking other Tyranid swarms? Leave a comment below, and thanks for watching.